In the past 24 hours, we have seen almost every coin go way up. Now the altcoin market is hemorrhaging red. Why? Whales. Individuals or companies who own a very large percentage of a currency. Just as there are a lot of currencies, there are a lot of whales. But take Bitcoin, for example. According to Bloomberg, as few as 1,000 people may own around 40% of all existing Bitcoin. The latest dip that came after a monster rally for Bitcoin pushing its way to 19,000 saw the digital currency come down to 14,000. That represents about a 15% drop, nothing in a normal day for Bitcoin. But the catalyzer for this dip was put down to stock taking and some cashing out for big profits. This form of minor market manipulation shows how someone with a few thousand coins can actively move the market should they make a big buy or sell. This becomes a bit more dangerous when it comes to less stable currencies where whales don't need as much capital. So for the sudden rise and sudden drop in all of the different altcoins today, do you think whales are to blame? And if so, where are these whales coming from? Are they coming from Wall Street, Asia, Japan? Uh, probably not Japan. Whales tend to stay away from Japan. But actually, it could be this. UK Business Insider interviewed a leader of a Telegram pump and dump group who, in early December, said this. He is now working on a mega group that will bring all the members of the Telegram pump groups under one roof. He said, we are creating a new Telegram group called Whale Pump, where we aim to have at least 10 million power, but we will launch our first operation on December 10th. So could this be it? And if it is, here is our advice. Hold. Why? Because the crypto market is very young and you don't throw your baby in the garbage every time it shits its pants.